Do you believe everything your favorite beauty vlogger tells you? No, because you're <laughs> smart. <laughs> Do the claims they make about some products really hold up? We're gonna find out in today's buzz or bust. First up, we have, is this a glass nail file? Yes. So, glass it's nail files, what are these guys? So what glass nail files are, are not shards of glass that cut up your fingers, but they're tempered, chemical treated, heated glass that is meant to be really hard and firm, almost like a piece of plastic. But the idea is that the grit is much smoother. And the question is when you look online, you'll see that these are a little more expensive, obviously, than a regular emery board. They're about 10 bucks. But the idea is that the grain is very smooth and they're not meant to cause peeling or chipping of your nails because they're much smoother grain. You can use them on babies. You can even use them on very fragile nails like people treated with chemotherapy. So what do you think? What do you think I'm gonna say? I think Based upon my brief use of this? I like it. Buzz. I yeah. think you're gonna say buzz. I think you're right. I oh, like this thing. <laughs> so it's not quite as, you know, some nail files are really sharp and, you know, this is, I like the way this feels. Yeah, like and this it. is gonna last you a year, easier to clean off and sanitize. So when you have a disposable one that's made of cardboard, it's it's gonna fall apart if you try to wash it or you try to clean it in it any way. It gets wet, forget it. And the personal thing that I think is really interesting is theoretically if you use a regular metal or even cardboard nail file, you're actually only supposed to file in one direction to do it properly, right? With these, you can go in any direction because they're so much smoother and you're not going to cause the same peeling or chipping. I so like for 10 bucks, Tell me your question. Can I keep this? You can keep it. Yes! <laughs> we all want to keep all right. ours. Everybody wants Next to keep it. Next up them. is a hair hack beauty bloggers swear by. They say rice water. That is the key to silky and strong hair. Yes, indeed. But is it a buzz or a bust? Now, when we're talking about rice water, we're literally talking about just water that has like soaked where the, the rice was cooked in it. So it's a little starchy water. What? Correct, or you can even just soak the rice for 30 minutes and then keep the water with the starch left over. Some people will even tout fermented water where you leave the rice in there for two days and then strain it and keep the water. But certainly if you're cooking and rice, then you rice, you really supposed to, keep to it. What, yeah. put it in your hair? What do you do with so, it? So yeah, so the way people online and in general ancient for centuries people have been doing is they'll shampoo their hair and then they'll follow it. You can use this almost like a conditioner where they massage it in, leave it on for 20 minutes and then rinse it off. And the idea is it's meant to be on your hair and on your scalp, it's sort of a hydrating agent. Um, this is just a, a couple of the online videos because this is kind of having a real renaissance. This has been around for centuries, very commonly used in Japan and they say that it's meant to allow them to grow their hair really long, it keeps it even from growing gray according to some accounts. So just like rice, it should theoretically have inositol, amino acids, antioxidants. That's what they're touting in terms of the benefits of rice water. Well, well, in medicine we say do no harm and I can't see how rice water is going to do any harm. So I'm going to say buzz. Okay, what do you think, Drew? I'm gonna also say a buzz. And you guys are right. Whoa. <laughs> I would say that this is probably a buzz. There's a lot of anecdotal evidence about this. I will say that when I did a deep dive, I couldn't find any rigorous research that really supports this. So it isn't already commercially sponsored by industry, but the inositol, the antioxidants, the amino acids, I mean, it, it should stand to reason it should be helpful. And to your point, this is certainly not gonna harm anyone. It's inexpensive. So if you wanna try it, give it a whirl. Good job. I like Thank it. Thank you.